This video just looks at the Newtonian telescope secondary mirror and the very initial step of the collimation process. This video doesn't attempt to show you how to fully collimate a Newtonian telescope. However, it may help you identify if you have a major secondary mirror misalignment problem that needs to be addressed before you start the normal collimation steps. Peering into the eyepiece holder and seeing reflections of the secondary and primary mirror can be very confusing. It's extremely difficult to gauge whether the secondary mirror is centred on the eyepiece axis or skewed left or right and directing part of the image away from the eyepiece. However, inserting a length of 2 inch diameter plastic tube into the eyepiece holder cut to an accurate 45 degrees can make any significant secondary mirror misalignment quite obvious. Sliding the plastic tube up close to the secondary mirror surface will easily show if the secondary mirror is square to the eyepiece axis and centred on the axis. A dot placed in the centre of the secondary mirror can also help ensure the eyepiece axis is aimed at the centre of the secondary mirror and therefore capturing all the image light the primary mirror has reflected onto the secondary. It's unlikely the secondary mirror will be badly misaligned in a new telescope. However, for an older telescope, subject to many collimation adjustments, the secondary may become badly skewed and collimation become more difficult to achieve. This plastic tube test will confirm if the secondary is badly misaligned. If your secondary mirror appears to be badly misaligned, just adjust the secondary mirror alignment screws to align it with the plastic tube and then complete your normal collimation steps using a Cheshire eyepiece or laser collimator. Hopefully the result will be an improvement to telescope collimation.